Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I have all your updated information that you need on all three tropical storms, tropical depression, hurricanes. I'm still showing that Fred has a chance to intensify and still be a hurricane. I waited until 8 o'clock this morning to make y'all the video. That way I can have updated information for y'all, especially dealing with possible Hurricane Fred. I don't want to give you 2 a.m. data. Now I'm going to edit this to get this as short as possible for you guys to get this information to you as soon as possible. If you've never been here before, hello, my name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But I will make sure that you have all the information you need beforehand. So thank you for joining the community. Hit that subscribe button and the bell. We're a great and helping community here. And remember, everybody, I always put timestamps in the description to save you time so you can navigate through the video as soon and quick as possible so you can get on with your day. All I ask is share the video on social media. If you use social media, alert others to this information, especially to your friends and family. If you don't use social media, just hit the like button. YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you so much for all your help. God bless you all. Now, as of 8 o'clock this morning, Tropical Depression 8 is at 35 miles per hour winds moving south at nine miles per hour. Predicted to be Tropical Storm Henry. Tropical Storm Grace is at 35 miles per hour winds, moving west at 15 miles per hour. Predicted to still be Tropical Storm Grace. I'm showing still major hurricane Grace, mostly by the Bay of Campeche. And we have Tropical Storm Fred, 50 miles an hour winds, and it is moving north at nine miles per hour and it is starting to intensify and it still has a good chance to be a hurricane right before landfall it's pretty much a category thing at this at this stage it's not going to change much except a little bit on the winds the rainfall is still going to be very heavy and here's fred right here and you can see it's starting to tighten up and get a center of circulation around the center it is strengthening the question is does it have enough time it is moving nine miles per hour that is kind of okay but it is moving slow enough to where this can still intensify and wind up pretty quickly now your tornado chances has upgraded for today instead of just a two percent now you have a five percent margin area and that five percent is tallahassee florida dothan alabama panama city florida thomasville georgia lynn haven florida the two percent columbus georgia macon georgia albany georgia warner robbins georgia and auburn alabama now the latest intensity guidance on Fred so far is getting maybe to 50 to 55 knot winds, which is about 60, a little bit, a little bit above 60 miles per hour winds, a little bit more on a wind gust. You still have tropical storm warnings in this blue area here, and it is predicted to still be a tropical storm into southern Alabama as it goes into a depression and towards Tennessee on Wednesday. And your chances for tropical storm force winds, which is at least 39 miles per hour sustained winds, has gone up to 80% in this red, 70% in this orange, 60 in the brown, 50, 40, 30, 2010. Storm surge warning still hasn't changed from last night. It's still one to three feet and three to five feet in the concave, still two to four feet and one to three feet. Has not changed from last night. The three day rainfall forecast has upgraded. There is a moderate section now for flash flooding and some heavy rainfall. But now you have one to two inches in this green area going all the way up to New York. You have two to four inches in this dark green area. The yellow area is four to six inches and the orange is six to ten inches expected. Your flash flooding risk has gone up. Now you have some moderate sections and it does go all the way up to the northeast. Through Tuesday morning you have slight risk in this yellows and you have a moderate section for flash flooding in this red. Through Wednesday morning, you have slight risk in this yellow with the moderate section in this red. And through Thursday morning, you have slight risk in this yellow section and a moderate risk in this green section for some flash flooding from Fred. Now, the Hurricane Hunters went out and they just got back and they are showing a strengthening going on on Fred. Last time they checked, it was 45 knot winds on the west and east side. And now it's starting to get up to above 50 knot winds on the west side and they're still doing the checking. And it just updated and it went all the way up to 58 knot winds on the west side of this storm and it, they're still checking the east side. So they are updating the information as we speak and it is starting to strengthen. So the storm track from Fred so far is going towards Panama City Beach, Port St. Joe and all y'all look like y'all going to be getting the impacts, especially in the concave of Florida. And it will go a little west of Columbus as it goes towards Marietta and Atlanta, a little west of Atlanta. So Atlanta, you're going to be getting the impacts as well as it heads towards Knoxville. Now the H Wharf is still showing that it will be a 983 hurricane on, right before landfall. It is going to intensify and strengthen up. 
It also shows after it gets on landfall, it'll turn into a strong tropical storm, travel from Alabama over to northern Georgia, and go up Tennessee. But the rainfall amounts are very heavy. Big long track all across the Panhandle of Florida, Alabama, northern Georgia, and a big heavy spot of over a foot possible for northern Georgia, southeastern Tennessee. The high resolution rapid refresh brings it down to a 998 strong tropical storm landfall sometime around 8 p.m. tonight. The GFS brings it still to a 988 hurricane. The euro shows that it will strengthen also, but it'll only get down to a 994. The NAM 3K is agreeing with the wharf that there will be some good intensifying. By 7 p.m. tonight will be towards landfall, and the NAM 3K has it down to a 977 hurricane. Now, according to the GFS, it will be heavy rainfall amounts all the way up to 6 and 7 inches. Panhandle, Florida, southern Alabama, a little bit more from northern Georgia, as well as Tennessee, eastern Kentucky, western North Carolina. As it goes to the northeast, putting heavier rainfall in New York and 2 inches in Pennsylvania. So according to the GFS, that's over 2 inches for Panama City, almost 2 inches for Tallahassee. A little west of Panama City, 4 to 5, maybe even 7 inches. That would put Dothan over 4 inches, Columbus over 2 inches, and as it goes towards Atlanta, an inch. Rome getting over 2 inches. And it puts some heavier spots towards Chattanooga over 2 inches. Florence, Myrtle Beach, and Charleston, Columbia, Savannah, Georgia, all y'all getting over 2 inches of rainfall, including Statesboro. The Euro shows not only for the Panhandle of Florida, it shows that it would be heavier for northern Atlanta, upstate South Carolina, way heavier, and then western North Carolina and western Virginia, as well as New York, northern Jersey, a little bit of Connecticut, maybe some Massachusetts and Pennsylvania. But that puts the impacts a little bit more eastern, and that would put Panama City over 3 inches, Tallahassee 3 inches, Columbus, Macon over 3 inches, Newman 4 inches, Atlanta almost 5 inches, Athens over Five inches and upstate South Carolina, Greenville, almost four inches. A little west of you, a little bit higher elevations, seven inches. Asheville, over four inches. Johnson City, Hickory, over three inches. Raleigh, only about an inch and a half. And Greensboro, over two inches. Danville, two inches. Roanoke, Virginia, five inches. And go up to Charlottesville and Harrisonburg with two, three inches. And for Grace, there is tropical storm watches out for Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Jamaica. And NOAA has it going by Cancun, by the Yucatan, and going into the Bay of Campeche as a tropical storm. And Grace will go by Haiti with all the storms pretty much on the north side. So that's pretty bad for people over there in Haiti that's dealing with that earthquake that y'all had to deal with. It actually is moved a little more southern, and y'all are on a time scale because the heavy rain is coming. That means more flash flooding, more mudslides. So get to those people as soon as you can. God bless you all with your efforts. Jamaica, it's predicted to go a little bit over you. You could get two, three inches on the east and west side of the island. As it goes past the Cayman Islands, you need to watch out Cayman Islands. You could be getting some heavy rainfall if it moves a little more southern. As it goes towards the Yucatan, it will be affecting Cancun, Playa del Carmen. All y'all are going to be getting some rainfall and possible high winds from the storm as it goes into the Bay of Campeche. And even one of the main cities, Matamoros, you could be seeing some impacts as well. And here's Grace now. It's starting to get a center back over waters again. It is moving away from Dominican Republic, but you still will be getting impacts along Haiti and where y'all had earthquake issues with the rain band. So be aware of that. The new track guidance shows that it'll be somewhere by Jamaica sometime within 30 to 36 hours and be by Cancun by the Yucatan in about 72 hours. Getting into the Gulf within four days, a little more southern. And the new intensity guidance shows that it will be a strong tropical storm and it has a great chance for still being a Cat 1 hurricane and some still bring it to a Cat 2, even still a Cat 3. So far from feeling any winds, tropical storm force winds of at least 39 miles per hour or greater, uh, Haiti you have a 20% chance and is light green and Jamaica you are in a 10% chance of the wind. So it will be northern of you, however this will be spinning counterclockwise so the western side of the island should see more rainfall and storms than the east side as it's passing by. As well as Cayman Islands and the Yucatan, Cancun and all y'all over there, you are all in 20% chance of tropical storm force winds so far. And so far the H Wharf has it passing by Jamaica, the northern side, but you can see the bands, how they could go right over the whole island. So you will be getting some rainfall, you will be seeing some storms as this passes by. Then it goes straight towards the Yucatan, the western Caribbean, and it starts intensifying. It looks like a 971 hurricane for Cancun. Yucatan, be careful of that. 
as it goes into the Bay of Campeche and it still continues to intensify down to a 928. Down to a 928. So far, according to the Euro, your rainfall amounts for Haiti by Port Au Prince, maybe over five inches. Las Cayas, over eight inches of rainfall. And for Jamaica, you're going to get anywhere from two to three inches, maybe even four across the whole island. The GFS brings it down a little bit. It still shows over four inches and over three inches for Haiti. But for Jamaica, it shows it'd be over somewhere around two inches, maybe a little above two inches, according to the GFS. Euro shows heavier. Now the chances of what the outcome for Grace can be, if you look right here on E9, you see it goes right over Cancun into the Bay of Campeche and it starts going towards Mexico and strengthening up. If you look right here on E15, it shows that it goes in the Gulf and goes towards Louisiana and starts strengthening up in the Gulf, Louisiana and Texas. If you look right here on 16, you can see it goes straight towards the Yucatan and the Bay of Campeche and strengthens up towards Mexico. And that's what I see a lot of, is either going over the Yucatan and going towards the Bay of Campeche, or it's curving up and going somewhere by Texas and Louisiana. We also have this one here, E5. It shows that it goes over to the Western Caribbean, and it intensifies greatly as it goes towards northern Mexico. And that's the strongest one that I can find. Now, Tropical Storm Fred did show a lot of weakening, like this one right here when, we, when I showed you yesterday. If you look at all 30 perturbed members, you can see... The Tropical Storm Fred is showing strength in all the members. So there will be some more intensification happening, especially right here shows it. But there's a lot of intensification going on all the models now. So I, I do believe that this will go up to a possible hurricane. When you look with the Euro, see where the potential for a tropical storm can be in the next 72 hours. You do see that Grace does head towards the Bay of Campeche, towards the Yucatan, and it keeps going in that direction. And once again, we are finding very small amounts, but we are finding hurricane force winds in that section. And this is according to the Euro. So the GFS and the Euro are showing that impacts, even hurricane impacts, will be in the Bay of Campeche for Mexico as far as grace goes. When you look at the cyclone ensembles, you can see that it has a greater chance today. It was all green yesterday, which means 1,000 to 1,010 millibars. The blue is 980 to 999. And you can see there is a chance for it to be a strong tropical storm, a weaker hurricane as it gets closer to shore and as you look for grace you can see that grace starts moving across the western caribbean and it strengthens across the yucatan and starts intensifying either towards mexico or it intensifies towards texas and louisiana the latest on a gfs model does take it over to yucatan and has it strengthening to a strong hurricane a 965 and we have Tropical Depression 8, which is predicted to be a tropical storm sometime this morning, and it will be Tropical Storm Henry. And we have Tropical Storm watches out for Bermuda already. And he's just going to sit here and rumble around, but the bad part about Bermuda is it's going to dance all the way around the island as it goes around. So there's a chance it could sharpen up and maybe be a little bit more of a threat. But so far, just some wins. And the guidance ensemble still show that it will loop around and go out to the east-northeast. There is, however, three models showing it could go to the southwest. And most of the intensity guidance show that it would just be a tropical storm, but there is a few out there that shows it is a chance for it to become a hurricane. However, these are the ones that was going west. And Michigan is still dealing with over 150,000 homes without power. 2% for the tornado warnings is all the way for Atlanta, Georgia, all the way to Wright, Florida, all the way to Orlando, Florida. So that's all 2%. And your 5% is from Dothan, Alabama, all the way to Perry, Florida, so Tallahassee, you're in it, Apalachicola, Chipley, Panama City, Bainbridge, you're all in the 5% for tornadoes. Now all this green section for Georgia as well as Alabama, you're in flash flooding all the way till 7 p.m., on the 17th for Alabama and all the way till 7 a.m. on the 18th for Georgia. Southern Georgia and Northern Florida, y'all in a flood warning all the way until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And a little bit more Southern, you're all the way until 1 p.m. for the 18th. And this circle right here means that you have a chance for tropical storm force winds within this circle as it comes on land. And this is a live look now of what's going on with this storms come from this tropical storm and you can see it's starting to tighten up right here it is trying to tighten guys and it is getting some rotation now around the center 
really good. So we'll see what happens out of it. I pray it does weaken down. However, the, the upper level low has moved away. So there's not much here. It has a chance to strengthen from now to landfall. I will update y'all this afternoon. God bless every single one of you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Help suggest it to others. Help share the information. Today I want to pray for you guys. Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye return my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Amen. Bless you all going through this. I hope you all are hunkered down, got your sandbags, got everything taken care of, get your pets inside. Make sure you charge your laptops. You can charge your cell phones off of your laptop. You can just plug it into the USB. Thank you again for visiting my channel today. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. I pray for your safety. Have a great day.